Wasn't there some kind of message about like building our rocket in a certain place? I might have just dreamed of that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe it was one of the messages. Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Volpine here and welcome back to Let's Play The Planet Crafter. Where I think at this point we don't really have a specific thing we need to focus on. We just have to add as much terraforming as we can. I, I guess, should we just be launching like as many rockets as possible at this point? Like more than anything else really? I feel like uh, that's probably the best way to do it, huh? So pressure, pressure could probably use a rocket. Let's see. I just want to take note of where it's at. It's at 70, 70,000 basically. 70,000 and a half. Let's grab a rocket engine. I'm going to have to look up what the other parts even are. We're going to get hammered by asteroids, unfortunately. Pressure rockets. Oh, geez, this one's pretty cheap. Two super alloy and three silicon. Oh, I forgot that we topped that off. That's nice. That'll help things quite a bit. And then, yeah, just as many level two tree crafters as we can make, I think will also go quite a long way. Just making sure it's the right rocket. So we know we're at 70 and a half thousand before we launch this thing. I don't know exactly when like the percentage booster rolls in. I think it was as soon as I pressed the button. Looks like it was as soon as I pressed the button basically. Because now we're at a uh, 105,000. That's not a thousand percent though. <laughs> That's barely, that's not even 200% to be honest with you. Just to be real with you, it's nowhere near right, but that's okay. It's not really about the resources anymore. It's not about the resources, it's about sending a message. Methane away, toss the tree bark away. Since I have lots of super alloy, I'm going to go ahead and make another. So I'm going to make two of them. Two more pressure cookers. It's going to be iridium all over the map. And we're just going to leave it there. No need. No need. Probably just turn it straight into rods or something. I'm pretty sure our iridium chest is full. Okay. Do you forgot that's water down there now? And that looks a bit looks a wee bit silly. Then those should get the multiplier applied to them post haste. Or rather, in post. These plants aren't really as interesting as these ones over here. Those ones look a lot more lush than those do, but it's okay. They're both supposedly the native ones. Yeah, that's doing for pressure here. Yeah, it's pretty good. See, now it's closer. I mean, it's still not even <laughs> to 200% more than what it was. All right, biomass. Let's make a bio biomass rocket with our next rocket piece. Gotta make sure it's the right one because I was trying to launch more before and I kept suiting the wrong ones off. Tree bark fertilizer and super alloy. And ligma seeds. Maybe out of ligma? 
No, I still got Ligma. Wrong one. Don't remember how many super L. I think it was just w or two. Also need to get. Oh, I didn't get these fully armed and operational. We'll deal with that in a moment. Send the biomass rocket off. Suppose I should check the numbers. I have faith that it's working every time, but I do want to. Just be sure. Biomass is at 41,000. See, a 1,000% difference is times 10. So it should be at a million. Once I launch this. But I'm betting it's not. Can't see straight, so. Yeah, it went up by, it's like 50%. It's like, <laughs> those numbers are totally off. This is not right. Maybe it does like at the start of the game. Maybe the first one you launch is huge. But yeah, it's definitely not 1,000%. Uh, All right, let's get these trees growing here. I'm gonna have to go get some more algae. I'm gonna have to go to our super alloy farm. Let's see, I need some methane. Sulfur, I need two sulfur. I'm gonna have two methane left over. Allow those in there. Research, stay in there, make sure the research gets started. Okay. Algae harvesting time. Should be, should, is there to be osmium sitting around? Didn't I like not collect the osmium that was falling? I might not have like, it seems like if you don't like look at the asteroids when they're crashing, they don't drop anything. Which I know saying, seems weird, but I think it's the case because I think there should be osmium everywhere if it, if it wasn't, you know? I've kind of noticed that in the past too. Come back outside at night. Maybe we'll see something that we couldn't see before. All right, let's harvest our mushrooms. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think we have an extra seed now. All these squashes up here, but I guess I need to build another container, huh? Make ourselves a squash container. So really just dump the eggplants because the eggplants have two containers. <laughs> a bit overkill. Uh, squash. Okay. 
Uh, well, we have to empty these out differently. Well, not really. I guess I didn't have as many plants as I thought I did. And them confused with the eggplants, I suppose. Can't believe we need squash now, nah, man. That's so silly. Haven't needed a ton of them, but still. Bit amusing. Uh, we can check the biomass again just to see if it number changed like after the rocket had launched for a while. No. So yeah, those rockets aren't nearly as effective as you would hope they would be. But that's okay. We are going to go out and get our super alloy, I think. Let's check to see if we need our iridium. I don't think we do. Not really. I don't really like just leaving these miners full of resources that we don't need, but also, like, objectively, I don't need to pull it out of there. Also, there's a bunch of iridium all over the map. <laughs> but I do need our super alloy. Then... I suppose I will check our. I wish we could. I wish there was a. I wish there was a hotkey we could press that would open up our terraforming menu, because we have that at home, but we can't use it on the go. Same thing with the map. There's no way to pull up the map when you're on the go, which is like when you actually need it. Like right now, maps basically memorized, other than like not knowing exactly where. Uh. I think these are empty enough. I can just do it like this. This pile of resources is absurd. Other than not knowing where the uh, golden chests are. But, I mean, I feel like I would hide one up there if I was the dev. Hmm. I don't know where they could be. Perhaps that's what we will do shortly here. But yeah, we'll check our power supply, see if we need to build another power machine. If not, I will toss down more tree generators now that I have more tree seeds. Once those are down, I guess I will look up where the other golden chests are. Not that I think there'll be anything in them that will help us, but who knows, maybe there's a super secret item I don't know about. Because we are now officially at the part that seems the slowest. I don't know what our best answer to get through this quicker is. The tree spreader mark twos are like our best thing. <laughs> the pressure spreaders four, the heater mark fours. You could take apart the old stuff and like replace things, but like I think we already got rid of all the heaters for one thing. I don't think there's that much to replace. grass spreaders veggie tubes they're just there's no reason to take them down though unless they're going to refill a resource at home that I could use for something else okay I guess the yeah flower spreaders have a bunch of fertilizer in them which that wouldn't hurt fair enough let's go check the power real quick Starting to get through our supply, but it's still like pretty far off. So, how are we doing on trees? Okay. I would like to build more trees. You need to be turned into a tree. Oh, I don't know if I should turn everything into a tree. Maybe we can like reverse engineer these somehow. There hasn't been anything else. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing else in the tech tree that might need a seed.
like just a flower seed. So I think we might be okay. For now, I'll leave it there. So these need fertilizer tier two. I don't have any, but I do have, let's put the lily pad away just so we know that we're focusing on three things right now. We have three regular fertilizer ready to go. So we'll need three zeolite, three tree bark. I might need another tree bark machine. Three super alloy. Okay. Two bacteria samples. Two, three, four, five, six. I will just take water out of here for this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to refill our water container to make up for that. Now I got to turn the fertilizer into fertilizer tier two. Algae squash and methane. Two, three. Two, three. I think it was two methane per. Two, three, four, five, six. Bottoms up. Oh, there's a tree spreader right here, but it's not putting anything out. Do you have a seed in you? You don't have a seed in you, good sir. That would explain a thing or two about a thing or two. I probably should like tear up the flower spreaders at this point. I don't know though. Seems like unless I really have to, like there's no reason to. The one we just put a thing in. One more. I need one more bacteria sample. Just a piece of iron. All right, bacteria sample, water. Excuse me. So I'll put some trees over here. Why not? Eventually the whole map is going to be covered with trees and it's going to kind of be like, huh? Yeah, getting these flower spreaders pulled up anyway would be kind of nice just to get rid of all the uh, particle effects. I think they're slowing things down. Like, we still have 60 FPS, so it's not that bad, but I know that this game runs at 144, like, no problem. So I do think they are overkill. Anyway. How are we doing now? 80,000 grams per second. Oxygen and heat seem pretty stagnant. Flower spreaders are using a lot of power. Well, not really compared to the tree spreaders, ultimately, but... I do have regular flower spreaders out there. There's, like, no reason for them. Like, every flower spreader should at least be a switch with the flower spreader mark two. Yeah, but it's just, it creates fertilizer when I don't really need more. I should just move them into trees. Again, it's really just like a, I don't have enough manpower. Aren't grown yet. I 
I don't really want to use more osmium because we do need it for more power. Can launch one more rocket. I have to decide which rocket it should be, though. Should it be biomass? Should it be pressure? The biomass has the smallest bottom number, right? Like, I think it's got to be the biomass rocket. Which I believe took to be bark. The thing we might need to make more of is another one of these. This thing only makes two tree bark at a time, which is a little slow. Got a full set of methane that time, which is pretty nice. All right. Take a look at this rocket again. Wasn't there some kind of message about, like, building our rocket in a certain place? I might have just dreamed that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe it was one of the messages on one of the dead bodies. Like, he said something about building his rocket in the middle of the crater for some reason. Biomass rocket. Ligma seed to super alloy and fertilizer. Okay. I am going to take apart a flower spreader mark two to get this fertilizer rather than making a new one two super alloy like my seed sorry little one sorry little one that's only one fertilizer too that was the regular flower spreader. Which is good to get it out of the way then, I suppose. Just absolutely send it. I don't know if I have to wait for everything to spawn in there, but I feel it's better safe than sorry. Get all of our water collected because I know we need more. Hey, I had exactly enough. IO2, that's one of the special flowers anyway. It's one of the flowers that gives us a, uh, a better tree. Let's get one of these going. Guess I shouldn't really. I want to see what one of these makes. I don't think I've made a flower out of one of these yet. Or not a flower, a tree out of one of these yet. It is only, it's just the native plants that give the 50% boost, but I think all of the other ones give the same boost. Three, one, two, three. I'm gonna need more. More algae again. We'll do that right away, because that'll tell us if I need to grow more algae plants. Oops, I'm very dumb. I didn't go out here just to drink. I also came out here to grab water from this. Pollen in the air. And yeah, we have to make full on mutagen. That's right. It's fine. I just uh, forgot. I think once I had the DNA figured out for this, I wouldn't have to like make it again, like research it again. Like it's DNA is already sequenced. We've already sequenced this DNA. All right, I would like to put this into a tree spreader. So we will disassemble a flower spreader. Grass spreaders get to live. 
looking for the tier one flower spreader. Which is you. I'm sorry, little one. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Zeolite bacteria sample. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna need a uh, more algae farms. And more tree bark. Oh, I need that super alloy actually. Here to fertilizer. Oh, damn. Squash into methane, but I also got to go out there and get algae. I don't know, it grows back pretty quick. I guess if I'm not filling my inventory completely every time, then it's not enough. I suppose we'll just let the iridium sit in here and irradiate everything. Should be fine. Inventory might get full this time just because my inventory is already partially full. I think that aluminum is slowing us down to like the computer speed. All right, uh, fertilizer mark two. I seem like we're mostly keeping up with the fer fertilizers, just like I said, I don't have enough uh, output. Trying to keep things nicely spread out. Oh, I'm done. I remember. Oh, I put it in. I'm not dumb. I am very smart. Some might even say the world's smartest. Okay. This stuff. See, like, I check this all the time. Like, I need someone, like, checking that. I need someone gathering. I'm gonna need another one of these, I think, for sure. I need someone gathering tree bark. I need someone gathering my super alloy. I need men. I need big, burly, muscular men. <laughs> All right. Now these squash should be good to go. Maybe someone's harvesting my squash all the time, you know? Need someone going around to the shipwrecks to go gather the squash that I left behind. No, not really, because like I actually need squash that badly anymore. It certainly won't hurt, but it's not as a dire emergency as I thought it might be. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so this is the one from the, the blue plant. Kind of looks like this one. As you can see, though, it's only 125. And it's like not that huge of a difference. See how our base is expanding a little bit. All right. We're going to make two more things. So 
I need to take apart two more basic flower spreaders. I believe you're a Mark 1. I think the Mark 3s kind of look like a tripod. Could be wrong. Those are grass spreaders. Ah, oh, there you go. That's the Mark II. Okay, so I'm right. The thing that's nice is we do get Super Alloy back, which we need to put into the new one. Oops. Don't mean Magnesium, though. I know you want me to take apart the grass spreaders, but there's no reason to. Uh, put away those two flowers. Two bacteria. We also get all of our water back, which is nice. Our zeolite. That's the other thing. I was eventually running out of zeolite, but I guess I could start making the tier one trees again. Uh, two, two fertilizer, two algae, two squashes, four methane, should be good to go. I'm surprised these don't use more inner, am I missing something? Why can't I click on you? Tree bark. Yeah, it's going to be... Tree bark's going to be a little spicy. That's all right. We know what we have to do. We just don't know if we have the strength to do it. So tempting to pick up the iridium just because it's bright and glowing, but literally not useful. It's not literally useless, but it's pretty close. All those, all those eggplants. I went, I went a little far in places. I think. Okay, I would say let's get another biodome going. Oh, dumb tier two. Two fertilizer. You know what? I'm just going to take apart. Like, I know you're actually, like, decent. But I just want two fertilizer nice and easily here. You also hand over the super alloys, which is nice. Algae. So you need two bacteria samples, so I'm gonna need more water. We are way over time for this video, but we're kind of getting to this point where I just kind of have to grind things out. So I think it's kind of okay. Hope you all enjoyed the video though. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And until next time, I hope you have a good day.